Loyal followers of the Mungadai Challenge, welcome back to Mungadai Headquarters at Joint Base Lewis McCord. I'm Sergeant Chris Roberts. And I'm Sergeant Chris Klutz. We're thigh deep into day two of this three day event. Which means we are more than halfway to the finish line where we'll find out who has proven themselves a Mungadai warrior. This morning, 25 hours into the challenge, hungry and tired our Mungadais in the making were thrust into simulated combat. Oh, this is an outstanding training event. I wouldn't miss it for nothing in the world. It's awesome, and I am spent, burnt, and everything else. All right, watch your fire. Take your squad, go in. Stay right on him. So if you can sum up this challenge in one word, what would it be? Uh, more challenging than what most people probably thought it would be. It's really challenging. One word for it, I don't have one word for it. There's no one word. And if that wasn't enough, they had to carry their casualties of 200 plus pounds uphill to safety. Is uh, the battle buddy here heavy at all? He's a Mark. <laughs> so yes, he's heavy. Yeah, we're 24 hours in and about, uh, I guess a day and a half or so to go yet. So yeah, still, still hanging in there, still very tough. Uh, most of us didn't know each other before we uh, started this, and we come together, gelled really well, and um, you know, been working together so far real well. This is only day two. We still got this full day, and then, um, day three left. How's that, how's that looking right now? Uh, it, it's starting to um, starting to feel the effects. The muscles are getting sore, um, a little bit tired, but uh, you know, we're still still hanging in there. A little bit. And then, their world turned upside down. These Mungadai warriors are about to go on a ride, but not the kind you find at Disneyland. What they're about to go through are a series of jerks, tumbles, and rolls that simulate actual combat rollovers. I have to say, man, it was pretty hectic because all of us were standing here, we were standing out in formation, falling asleep, you know, so, I mean, it was real stressful. You know, it was packed in there. There was like 10 of us in there all together, man, like sardines. And you know, when that thing starts flipping, you know, there's foam pieces in there to simulate ammo cans and whatever. You know, it hits you in the face along with your weapon if someone lets go of their weapon. But it was, uh, it was pretty hectic, man, definitely hectic. It's definitely uh, opened my eyes to, uh, as far as platoon training, uh, section training, anything like this, man, to uh, help soldiers out, get, ready, get them ready, uh, combat ready, mission ready. So, yeah, definitely. What are, what are you using to motivate you to get through the rest of Mungadai here? Pizza. The thought of pizza. <laughs> and uh, my, my family and stuff like that. And uh, Just the ability to soldier on and continue to, to know that I can do this and that we can do this as senior leaders. And is this your first Mungadai? This is. Well, good luck, Master Sergeant. Thanks a lot for the interview. Appreciate Thank it. You. Back to Mungadai headquarters for more Mungadai. And if getting shot at and carrying hundreds of pounds of dead weight uphill wasn't enough, Corps Command Sergeant Major John Wayne Troxell served up a hearty helping of Mungadai approved physical training. Log press. Water press. Log sit ups. Water sitting. Log squats. Water stepping. And TRX thing. Well, that wraps up day two of Mungadai Challenge. Tune in tomorrow for more action. From all of us here at Mungadai Headquarters, I am Sergeant Chris Roberts. And I'm Sergeant Chris Klutz. Thanks for watching.